Hello guys, welcome to Nerdy Tech Tips video. Today I will share with you Windows less known features, 15 less known Windows features. So first one on our list is not only about features, it's all about also about some tips that you can use. Uh, so the first one is actually a tip how to delete a specific extension of files. Let's say you've got a, a virus or maybe you've got too many same files in your media folder. Uh, you can see that maybe I've got too many autoron.inf files or I've got too many t um, text files sitting in my drive. So I want to clear, clear all those files but it's not really pra practical going to each folder and deleting those text files. So what we, got, what we can do here is uh, we're gonna create two just empty text files just to show you that it does work. So what we're gonna do is over here first we need to create a new text file. First we have created a text file. What we're gonna do is we're going to edit that file and write down this command. We're gonna write down del slash s space slash q and then star key and then you have to type the extension of the files that you want to delete. For an example over here I want to delete all the text files sitting in my media folder because they're all useless and probably got downloaded when I was downloading my files. If you want to write down multiple extensions like over here you can see some DLL files sitting here we can just hit space write down star and dot and then mention DLL now we're going to save it as with the format dot cmd and we click save as you can see it has created a command file now make sure you do not right click and run as administrator if you do that it's gonna run in your C system drive and it, you're gonna probably end up damaging your operating system so just click on open once you do that as you can see it has quickly deleted all those files so we did not actually manually go need to go to every folder and delete those files now, now on our list second uh, actually is a feature of Windows that not many people are aware about. So another thing we're going to discuss is about is it's a feature of Windows 10, uh, Windows 10 Pro I would say. So it's how to enable a Hyper-V. You do not need to download any virtual machine software to actually create a virtual machine. You just type in turn Windows and you will see turn windows features on or off you click on that and you will see many features listed here as you can see i have already ticked on this when you click on this and mark a tick and press ok it will ask you to reboot your system and you will have hyper v as you can see i have hyper v manager and you can create virtual machines in this hyper v manager and the third one is on our list restore points and Windows really is a really great feature that I use. I click on a restore point. So when you click on restore point, it will create a system restore point for your Windows to that particular day. Let's say my system is running really well and good and I want to create a restore point. And if later on it did not rest uh, it did not start well, it's gonna give me an option to restore my Windows operating system to the latest or um, when it was running well so it will give you an option to restore from that particular point so over here most of the time everybody has a operating system running in a C drive you click on that and then you click on configure or you can click on create to configure you have to you have these options configure restore settings manage disk space and delete restore points and by clicking on create you can create a restore point it will create a restore point to the current date and time and you can it will be added automatically the fourth one 
is on our list is how to enable a hidden administrator account which is pre-configured on your windows not many people are aware about that there is a hidden windows administrator account to enable that you have to type net user administrator and then space slash active yes and then all right so it seems to it seems like i have made a mistake to enable that you have to run your uh, command prompt prompt i think in administrator mode let's try that way now my command prompt is running in administrator mode so we're going to type hit net user administrator slash active and then yes as you can see it has co completed successfully next time you reboot your system or you log out of this user account you will see another account which will have no password you have to manually set up a password on your administrator account this is a hidden administrator account on your windows operating system the next one on our list which is number five how to add multiple clocks at the uh, at the bottom right corner so for that you have to go to control panel and when you're in control panel maybe you have screen like that or like that make sure you click on category and once you click on category you click on clock and region and over here you can add another clock add clocks for different time zones once you click on this you click on show this clock and if you have a friends and family who's living overseas or in a different country or different time zone you can select their time zone from here let's say i'll go ahead and select a different country let's say adelaide and i can give it a name to adelaide and hit apply press ok when you hover or click on it you can see there are two time zones that that has been shown local time and adelaide time and if you click on it you can see the other time zone on the top right corner of this window now the next one is snipping toe now windows 10 is packed with features this is the one of the most greatest feature you can use if you have a blog or you make tutorials you want to make take screenshots you can click on snipping toe and when you hit on new it give you an option to select the area and it will take a snapshot of that screen you can draw you can write or you can edit this photo you can save it wherever you would like so it's really nice and easy it's a really great feature of windows 10. the another one on our list is corrector map now there are some special character that might not be available on your um, keyboard to type i will show you you can actually use them and see how you can use them when you type corrector map you click on that it will open up another window these are all the special characters you can use you can either copy a character by selecting it and copy and paste it anywhere you want or either you can keystroke you can see at the bottom right corner of this window there's a keystroke option if you hit alt and then type that code 0197 it will type that character it's really great feature when you want to use some of the special characters for any purpose or for your blog or for anything else as you can see there are tons of characters that you can use the next one on our list is reliability monitor which is number eight so on on your screen in the search bar you type reliability it will give you option view reliability history they give you the health of your windows operating system or your hardware or any software that has been crashing or not working properly as you can see i've got some red crosses if i go on a particular day it will tell me that which program actually crashed and if you see a program 
that has been crashing every day and it has stopped working by itself you might want to reinstall that software and if you see a full of red crosses on every single program you might want to restore your windows the next one on our list is steps recorder if you write a blog or any tutorials online and you do not like make, making videos or you want to share step-by-step -step guide with your colleagues it's really nice and easy tool and really handy tool in windows so in the search bar you type steps and click on steps recorder once you click on that you head to the steps recorder and click on start recording and hover over your my, uh, mouse click on back or you know do whatever you want to do or whatever you want to share how to do things and once you're done with it you click on stop recording once you click on stop recording it has taken automatically through screenshots and has written down the steps that what you were actually doing and what windows you were clicking on because i've got two screens here that's why basically it has picked up two screens now the tenth one is media streaming if you got a media and a folder or a drive and you want to share your media and you want to stream your media on your other devices here is a really great feature all you need to do is type media streaming so when you type media it will show you media streaming options and over here you turn on media streaming and you can customize what what type of media can be streamed it's really a great feature the next one is it's a really handy tool which most people are not aware about they intend to use TeamViewer or other third-party applications but this really a great feature of Windows is called quick assist when you type quick assist in a search bar it will bring up this option you click on quick assist over here what you need to do is you sign in you have actually two options get assistance or give assistance when you click on assist another person you will sign in with your Windows, uh, Microsoft account and password and then you will have a 10 minutes to share the key it will show you a key and the next person you want to help uh, they have to click on uh, option get assistance when they click on get assistance they have to type the key that you have shared with them and then it will it will open kind of a remote uh, connection and you will be able to see their screen and control their screen it's really great feature of this Windows 10 now another feature on our list is really handy tool as well if you are running into problems on your Windows 10 PC if you want to reinstall your Windows you do not need to go through from all the hassle putting on a drive and reinstalling your Windows there's really a feature you can use like basically like you reset your smart devices like your phone or other tablets or iPad now you can reset your Windows too you just type reset and then it will give you an option reset this PC and when you hit get started and give just follow the instructions and it will bring up your Windows operating system to the fresh installation screen and you will have no apps installed everything will be bring back to the normal Windows a fresh installation screen so basically this is called a reset this PC you will have the option to keep your files if you want to keep your files and it but it will definitely uninstall all the third-party apps you might have installed on your PC and reset all the settings you might have changed now the another feature which is 13 is really good good feature as well it's called storage sales you do not need to download any third-party softwares to actually free up a storage and find out what's taking up storage on your Windows 10 PC there's a built-in feature called turn on storage sense 
and it will give you all the data all the information what's taking most of the space and what you can free up now the next one is on our list is arrow shake and snap now this is really handy tool as well if you have multiple screens on your windows desktop all you need to do is let's say I've opened three files I want to keep this window only up I'll shake the window and it will basically minimize all the other windows and if I shake it again it will bring up all the windows up again now the last one on our list is also useful if you work in office and you work with multiple tabs and windows or even at home if you using multiple tabs and you do not have multiple monitors or maybe you got two monitors and you want to use more desktop screens it's really a great feature so it's called virtual desktops as you can see on your main screen at the bottom by the search bar there is a little task view if you click on task view over here we have an option called desktop 1 and desktop 2 it could be at the bottom of the screen but as you see there is an option called new desktop when we click on new desktop it will create another desktop and then you can drop whatever window you want to drop on the another desktop and it's uh, really easy to switch towards uh, between the desktop all you got to do is hold down the control and window key and press the arrows key and that way you can switch your desktop screen Give this video a thumbs up if it was useful for you. If there is a less known feature that more people should be aware about, please let us know about it below in the comment section. If you are new to this channel so you don't miss out on the latest Windows and Linux tips and other tech related stuff here or nerdy tech tips, please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon 